Hey what's up YouTube, I'm the Smartphone Guy coming back at you with another video and in this video I want to go ahead and share with you how you can turn your Mate 10 or your Mate 10 Pro from Huawei into a desktop computer or something similar to what you get with the Samsung DeX. Um, so first thing I'm going to talk about is what you need in order to do that. So the first thing you're going to need is some sort of Type-C hub. So you can see here I have a couple examples of Type-C hubs, um, pretty different. So in here we have a $25 example and then over here I have a $50 example. So the the first one, the $25 example, by the way, it doesn't come with what you need uh, to do this in the box. So um, this one is, of course, a Type-C hub. So you're going to plug in the Type-C down to your Type-C port on the Mate 10 or the Mate 10 Pro. And then this is going to go to whatever you're going to display it to. So if you're going to display it to a TV or a monitor, so I have it here connected up to my monitor. So I'll show you that in just a little bit. Um, so HDMI or some sort of VGA input is going to be important. And then also some sort of USB inputs are going to be important as well. So the USB is going to be nice because you're going to need it for a keyboard and mouse. So this just happens to be a wireless one from Logitech. Um, so I'll leave a link down in the description for all this stuff um, that you'll need. But um, you really only need one Type-C hub. So the disadvantage of this one is the fact that there is no way to actually charge the Mate 10 Pro while you're using this one. Whereas with this other one, we still have the Type-C here and we still have the USB ports. But right here we have another Type-C and you can actually plug in your Type-C charger for the Mate 10 Pro in order to charge the device while you're also using it as a desktop computer. So this one's available for 50 bucks and uh, you can see that this one actually gives you the option of using VGA um, so I could actually pull this little adapter off um, or HDMI so I could plug it right into one of my HDTVs and another nice thing that this one has that this one doesn't have is the fact that we have a um, auxiliary input here so I can go ahead and plug in some external speakers um, because what happens when you use it especially with a monitor that doesn't have any kind of speakers is you basically lose sound because this will no longer output any kind of sound now if you plug it into a TV it will output through the speakers but if you plug it into a monitor you're not going to get that um, especially if your, your monitor doesn't have speakers all right, so now that I've showed you some of the things you need in order to use it as a desktop computer, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when you do. So there's a couple different options you have available with the phone. So you can see here that I can still use the phone, and now I can also use it as a desktop computer at the exact same time. And I have it here connected with my Type-C hub. I have my uh, mouse plugged in and my keyboard plugged in. Um, and you can use them both at the same time. Now, you can see that at the moment I'm not charging it, so that's going to wear my battery out really fast. Um, but this is the type Type-C hub that has that option. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what you can do on here. So uh, first one, this is the desktop mode. So it's going to look more like a desktop computer. Um, but we do also have phone mode. And if you're playing games, I actually recommend using um, this mode here. So I can go into a game like uh, NBA Jam. We'll just show that as a quick example. Um, and the reason why I say that is because gaming on the desktop mode just doesn't work very well, whereas this one is basically just mirroring exactly what you see on your phone. You can plug in a Bluetooth, uh, or you can use a Bluetooth uh, controller in order to control and everything like that. So um, you can, of course, use the touch screen as well. Um, that works really well. Um, but uh, this is basically just going to mirror exactly what's on your uh, phone. So like if you're a teacher or something, you want to display something, you can do that. That's really cool. Um, I'm a teacher, so that's a really nice option for me. Um, so that's one thing you can do. And then we can go ahead and go back to desktop mode. So desktop mode, of course, is going to make it look again like a desktop. And you can see MUI desktop there. All right. And then um, I can come on here and uh, you can see here I do have the option of using the phone as a virtual keyboard and mouse. So it's going to basically be a trackpad um, and then a keyboard. And that's kind of a pain in the butt. So I definitely recommend uh, getting some kind of wireless keyboard and mouse to use with it. So now I want to go ahead and show you what it looks like as a desktop. So just to kind of give you a heads up, some apps will work in full screen, some won't. So I just... Uh, as an example, I'll come down here to a little app drawer. Um, so all the ones here in the top row are designed specifically to work with EMUI desktop. And then you can see down here, there's an option for third party. Um, so not all of these will work perfectly. Um, I'll just give you a few examples. So like I know for sure that gearbest.com, when I bring that up, there's no way to go full screen. Essentially, it just looks like it would look on the phone. There's no other way to look at it on here. Now, if I come back down here and go into another app, um, let's see. I know one for sure that looks really good on here is the Bible. I was looking at this one earlier. So this one looks great in desktop mode. Um, so you can actually use it and you get the full 
uh, Bible there and desktop. So that's really cool. Um, and then another one that I really like to use here was Filmora Go. So that's a video editor. So for those of you that are content creators and you create things on your phone, you can actually use it in full screen now. Now this is actually an app that you can get, of course, um, on your computer as well. Um, but if you don't have it and you do most of your editing on a phone, um, then that is a nice option as well. Um, so plenty of apps do work well with it, but of course some of them won't work perfectly. And again, gaming, uh, I'll just give you an example of why you might not want to use this uh, this version desktop version for gaming um, because you can see it won't take up the full screen I'll see it there is an option to make it full screen but when I do it kind of doesn't fit right I mean that's true of most games um, and then again now I'm gonna have to use the mouse um, I can technically actually use my uh, phone still but notice I'm not gonna be able to control the game um, so if you want to play a game you want it in phone mode not in desktop mode um, but yeah, so um, if you want to like, let's say uh, you want to um, edit some documents. Now notice down here, um, you don't actually have the option um, of Google Drive. Um, so if you're gonna use Google Drive applications like Docs and spreadsheets or anything like that, um, you're gonna wanna go into Chrome to do those things. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's, it's really great option. I love that that's included with the Mate 10 Pro, not a whole lot of phones uh, have that option. And basically to do it, all you need is some kind of display. Um, I would recommend a wireless keyboard and mouse and some sort of Type-C hub. Um, so you can do it pretty inexpensively. But anyways, quick look at the Huawei Mate 10 Pro in desktop mode. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.